of resources has led to problems like ecological crisis, global warming, ozone depletion and land degradation. Okay, so you guys know this. Now, how I'm going to place this point in the form of a very interesting bullet point. What I'm going to talk about in this is I'm going to say the environmental consequences. So the very first point in which I'm going to talk about, uh, you know, the global warming, the issues related to ozone, the issues related to land degradation. So I'm going to talk about uh, environment. Second point is the distribution of wealth. Right. So the second point that I'm going to talk in this case is not just I'm not going to come up with this. The accumulation of resources in few hands divides the society between the rich and the poor or maybe haves and the have not. But I have to give my teacher a very clear idea that now what you're looking or what you can expect in this point is the divide between uh, the you know monetary divide between the haves and have not in this case third is it's the greed now in this question i am not going to end it right here that the fast depletion of resources to satisfy the greed of few people Please don't stop here. There's a very, very important statement made by Gandhiji in your book that there's enough for everybody's need, but not enough for everybody's greed. So you have to make sure that your teacher reads that quote. So in order to ensure that you just write Gandhiji's statement and put it in inverted commas and underline Gandhiji so that she talks about the greed. She comes to know that you're going to talk about how greedy the people are. Okay, so let's get on to the Next question, distinguish between national and international resources. Clearly mentioned, you have to give three points for each. Now, a question like that, like this can probably att be attempted by you guys in, let's say, two different formats. So I'm going to follow the first format in which you have this and, you know, you talk about first you give the definition of resources that's going to be your introduction please define your resources so in case you are writing a very long answer please prefer to give additional surprise to your teacher by adding some flowchart by giving some block diagrams so that it becomes clear to her that this guy has invested this child has invested or put in an extra effort right so in long questions please try to answer or address the question by putting in a block diagram or maybe a flowchart that's going to make your answer sheet look all the more uh, impressive it's going to impress your teacher a lot so in this case let's say you have to distinguish the very first way in which you're going to talk uh, or answer this question is first you're going to define what you understand by resource right here you give the definition of resource after giving the definition of resource either you talk about national resources and you write points Again, you're going to leave a space and talk about the international resources and again give pointers. So this is how you're going to answer it the very first way. It's like the first option which you guys can go on. And the second way you guys can resolve this is by putting these points across the teacher in the format in this format. So you're going to differentiate it because they asked you to distinguish. They've clearly mentioned, right? So you're going to distinguish between them. You're going to put this heading. It's going to, we're going to talk about natural resources. Here we're going to talk about international resources and then relevant point with good examples are going to be mentioned right here. So let's see what is the answer is going to all be all about. So in this case, Three points you have to give. So the very first one is I'm going to talk about national resources. So when I'm talking about the national resources, as I'm talking about the domain, the territory of India, the resources that come there. In this case, you have to explain to your teacher it's the resources that belong to the country, belonging to the people of a nation. That means they all are known as your 
national resources. So it's not belonging to one community or a set of people, but it belongs to the entire audience, so the entire the nation's uh, people. So in this case, for example, you have your urban development authorities. Now, again, what special do I have here? And uh, what special you guys can do in your answer is, just gonna take one minute but it's gonna look all the more impressive I know you guys know a lot about it that's gonna stick you know lie within the political boundaries and all that so in this case what you're gonna do is right towards the end of your answer I expect you guys to okay so just towards the end what you guys can do is probably just make sure you draw the coastline of india and here with a black pen just mention that this is going to be 12 nautical miles and there you're going to write it's going to be a national resource right and something that's going to cross this boundary of 200 nautical miles is known as an international resource so if you've made your point way too clear to the teacher that yes you know what are the contents that you can expect for in this answer we're going to talk about the next question is um okay explain the importance of conservation of resource so let's talk about conserving the resources so in this case now you guys know how we're going to go around the very first thing that you guys got to do is explain resources right so you're going to draw that block diagrams where you have institutions where you have human beings interacting with the environment and then you're going to put use uh, put to use a resource resource should be accessible it should be available and everybody should be having an equitable uh, you know uh, i would say access to that resource that's what gonna make it uh, culturally acceptable that's what, what gonna make a resource uh, the definition of a resource so in this case for example we are we've been asked to explain the importance of conservation of resource so you have to explain that see i'm giving a good explanation and in an introduction i'm going to tell you that we've been using resources we've been using and uh, resources to the indiscriminate use of resources has been done or over exploitation of the resources has been done that has led to a lot of social and environmental problems now i want to stress on something that's what is the social problem and i want to talk and make sure that the teacher comes to know that i'm going to stress about the environmental problems now since you've addressed the important problems now you're going to start that yes how we are going to conserve or what is the importance so now you have to justify your answer by making a statement said by or marked by gandhi ji that there is enough for everybody's need but not enough for everybody's greed so now you got to tell that okay people walked out of their slumber for the very first time when they it was vocally or you know it was advocated by club of rome now, if I've written the answer in the form of a paragraph, it would be very difficult for my teacher to look for this word that's club of Rome. So in order to make her job easy going, I, what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to underline club of Rome at international level in a systematic way. And then I'm going to underline the date because I'm going to talk about the conservation of resource. So I have to make sure that I focus on the important points on the important stuff that I'm basically serving. And also I have to make sure that they come to know that yes, I am aware about a very, very, very important summit. That's Earth summit that took place in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, 1990. Two. So these are the basic two very important conservation measures that you have to mention in your answer to ensure the teacher gets to know them and she gives you marks accordingly, right? So writing a paragraph or providing information, okay, we are doing conservation, you know, we are conserving water, we are 
working on skills like uh, you know energy conservation and that no guys we are looking for some relevant information here and the relevant information is that's given in your content in your book that's they've talked about club of rome then they've talked about the earth summit that came up with agenda 21 of course if not agenda 21 at least you can talk about these two